Hello everyone welcome to MTS, and today we are counting the best movies no one saw in 2018. It's always a disappointment when a great film slips under the radar of critics and audiences. But list of 2018 underrated movies should keep you informed of all the lesser known films you should make a point of seeing. The best underrated movies this year may not have been smashes at the box office and may only hit mid-level percentages on Rotten Tomatoes these great underrated movies deserve some recognition. Featuring indie movies and foreign films, this list of top 2018 overlooked movies which of the best underrated films of 2018, do you like best then comment in description below and, and make sure subscribe and smash the bell icon. Spoiler alert! Because I am going to tell some plot, let's get started. Number 10. The Writer. The Writer is a 2018 American contemporary western drama film written, produced, and directed by Chloe Zhao. The film stars Brady John Drea, Lily John Drea, Tim John Drea, Lane Scott, and Cat Clifford and was shot in the Badlands of South Dakota. It premiered in the director's Fortnite section at the Cannes Film Festival on May 20, 2017, where it won the Art Cinema Award. It was released in theaters in the United States on April 13, 2018. Brady lives in financial poverty with his father Wayne and his younger sister Lily, who has autism. Once a rising star in the rodeo circuit, Brady suffers brain damage from an accident at a bronc riding competition, hindering motor functions in his right hand and leaving him prone to seizures. Doctors have told him he can no longer ride, or else his seizures will get worse. Number 9. First Reformed. First Reformed is a 2018 American drama film written and directed by Paul Schrader. It stars Ethan Hawke, Amanda Seyfried, and Cedric Kiles, and follows a Protestant minister faced with questions of faith and morality while serving as pastor of a dwindling historical church. Reverend Ernst Toller of the First Reformed Church in Snowbridge, New York is writing down his thoughts in a journal for a year, after which he intends to destroy it. First Reformed, a 250-year-old Dutch Reformed church, faces dwindling attendance under Toller's leadership, which has taken the church in a new direction and away from its historical focus on reformed theology. In trying to manage his own life issues, Troller seeks a deeper experience through reading Roman Catholic, Thomas Merton and G.K. Chesterton, and mystical books, The Cloud of Unknowing. This new spiritual direction leads him to seek support from a nearby charismatic megachurch, Abundant Life, which owns the historical landmark, and previous stop on the Underground Railroad. Number 8. American Animals. American Animals is a 2018 crime drama film written and directed by Bart Layton. It stars Evan Peters, Barry Keoghan, Blake Jenner, Jared Abrahamson, and Ann Dowd. The film is based on the true story of a library heist that happened at Transylvania University in Lexington, Kentucky in 2004. The movie received critical praise and currently holds a 89% approval on Rotten Tomatoes. The storytelling frequently jumps between interviews with the real people portrayed in the movie and the events themselves performed by actors. In 2003 in Lexington, Kentucky, Spencer Reinhard. Barry Keoghan, is an art student who feels his life has no meaning, that he needs something exciting, even if tragic, to happen in his life to inspire greater artistry. Warren Lipka, Evan Peters, is a rebellious student on an athletic scholarship, though he does not care much for sports and is only pursuing the education to please his family. Number 7. Searching. Searching is a 2018 American thriller film directed by Anish Chaganti and written by Chaganti and Sevahanian. Set entirely on smartphones and computer screens, the film follows a father, John Cho, trying to find his missing 16-year-old daughter, Michelle Law, with the help of a police detective, Deborah Messing. It was the first mainstream Hollywood thriller headlined by an Asian-American actor. The film received unanimous acclaim and was particularly praised for its direction and unique and widely unpredictable storyline. In San Jose, California, David Kim looks through old photographs and videos of his daughter Margot and his late wife Pamela, who died from lymphoma nearly two years ago, after which David and Margot became distant. One night, Margot goes to a friend's house for her study group. While David sleeps, Margot attempts to call him three times, the next morning, David is unable to reach Margot but assumes she has risen early and gone to school, later, 
He calls Margot's piano instructor, but is informed that Margot had cancelled her lessons six months ago. David discovers that Margot had been pocketing the money for the lessons, before suddenly transferring $2,500 to a deleted account on Venmo. Number 6. Revenge. With budget of $2.9 million and box office $526,033. Revenge is a 2018 French rape and revenge action horror film directed and written by Coralie Fargie. Starring Matilda Lutz, Kevin Janssens, Vincent Colombi, and Guillaume Bouchard, it follows a young woman who is assaulted and left for dead in the desert. Jen is an American socialite who is in a secret relationship with neighbor Richard. The two fly out to Richard's secluded home in the middle of the desert for a weekend together before his annual hunting trip with friends Stan and Dimitri. Richards's helicopter pilot gives him some peyote as a gift. However, Stan and Dimitri arrive a day early, disappointing Richard, who was hoping to keep Jen a secret. While the three men and Jen have a fun night of drinking and dancing, Jen hides the peyote in her necklace for Richard. Number 5. Sorry to Bother You. Sorry to Bother You is a 2018 American absurdist dark comedy film written and directed by Boots Riley. In his directorial debut, it stars Lake Ith Stanfield, Tessa Thompson, Jermaine Fowler, Omari Hardwick, Terry Crews, Patton Oswalt, David Cross, Danny Glover, Stephen Yoon, and Army Hammer. Set in Oakland, California, the film follows a young African-American telemarketer who adopts a white accent in order to thrive at his job, once he does, he rapidly gets swept up into a conspiracy, and must choose between making money at the expense of humanity and joining with his activist friends to organize labor, in an alternative present-day version of Oakland, ads for a company called Worry Free offer a life free from paying bills and with free food and lodging, but at the cost of a lifetime work contract, a practice deemed legal and not equivalent to slavery, a radical group called the Left I oppose Worry Free by holding protests and vandalizing their advertisements. Number 4. Thoroughbreds. Thoroughbreds is a 2018 American black comedy thriller film written and directed by Corey Finley, in his directorial debut. It stars Olivia Cooke, Anya Taylor-Joy, Anton Yelchin, Paul Sparks, and Francie Swift. This film was released on March 9, 2018, by Focus Features and Universal Pictures. Thoroughbreds follows high school student Lily, Taylor-Joy, and her emotionless friend Amanda, Cooke, as they scheme to kill Lily's stepfather, Sparks, via contract with a drug dealer, Yelchin. The film received positive reviews, holding an 87% approval rating on the review aggregator website Rotten Tomatoes, and a weighted average score of 76 out of 100 on Metacritic, indicating, generally favorable reviews, in suburban Connecticut, upper-class high schooler Amanda, Olivia Cook, euthanizes her crippled horse with a knife, resulting in charges of animal cruelty. Number 3, 8th Grade. The box office record is $13.5 million. 8th Grade is a 2018 American comedy drama film written and directed by Bo Burnham. It is his feature film directorial debut. The plot follows the life and struggles of an 8th grader, played by Elsie Fisher, during her last week of classes before graduating to high school. She struggles with anxiety in social situations but produces video blogs giving life advice. Kayla Day is an 8th grade student finishing her final week at a public middle school in the state of New York. She posts motivational videos on YouTube about confidence and self-image that get almost no views. Struggling to make friends at school, she wins the most quiet award from her classmates. Meanwhile, Mark, her single father, struggles to connect with her and break her reliance on social media. Number 2. You Were Never Really Here. The box office record is $7.4 million. You Were Never Really Here is a 2018 psychological thriller crime drama film written and directed by Lynn Ramsey. Based on the 2013 novella of the same name by Jonathan Ames, it stars Joaquin Phoenix, Yekaterina Samsnov, Alex Manette, John Doman, and Judith Roberts. Joe is a traumatized hired gun who rescues trafficked girls, using brutal methods against their captors. He cares for his elderly mother in his childhood home in New York City. Joe has flashbacks to the abuse he and his mother faced from his violent father. And his brutal past in the military and FBI, and is troubled by suicidal thoughts. 
With a great hard work Ramsey won the Best Screenplay Award and Phoenix won the award for Best Actor. Number 1. Upgrade Egg. Budget of 3 to 5 million dollars and box office record is 14.3 million dollars. Upgrade is a 2018 science fiction action body horror film written and directed by Lee Wan Nell. It stars Logan Marshall Green, Betty Gabriel, and Harrison Gilbertson. The film was produced by Jason Bloom, under his Bloom House Productions banner. The film follows a man who is implanted with a chip that allows him to control his body after a mugging leaves him paralyzed. Great Race, a stay-at-home mechanic, lives with his wife Asha who works for Cobalt, one of the companies contributing to an increase in human computer augmentations in a near future world. After premiering on March 10, 2018 at South by Southwest, the film was released on June 1, 2018 in the United States. The film received positive reviews from critics, who called it, one part the six million dollar man, one part death wish revenge fantasy, and praised the film's dark humor and action sequences. Thanks for watching, please subscribe MTS, and smash the bell icon and also comment down which one you want to see.